the three watchmen are uh, uh, figures that uh, come through our people, our ancestors, as part of our thinking. And as we've done totem poles, made totem poles, and put figures on them, a lot of times we put the three watchmen on top. But their job was to look out for danger. So generally they're on top three. And in the old times we had our villages along the shoreline, right? So it was always along a bay, usually sheltered, but not always. And uh, would curve with the beach. And all our houses faced the water and totem poles and everything, because we're a water people. We had great canoes, we'd carve these great canoes and come to shore, come to shore, go out there and hunt and gather, you know, fishing and stuff like this. So when danger come, it was always from either side or the front in a sense. So the watchmen would be there looking out for danger and uh, their job was to warn you, warn the people that danger was coming. And they'd be sitting there day and night thick or thin, you know, in the cold or rain, you know, we get great storms, you know, and so they're up there watching, but they do it in the spirit world too, not only in this life, but they also do it in the spirit world. I got involved in the arts just out of high school, I discovered that we had an art and an art form and a, a culture. You know, I grew up with stuff, but I didn't realize what it was until all of a sudden it hit me like a ton of bricks. And it gave me a focus. And from that day forward, I just focused on our art form and started studying and working on it and getting into it. So, and then as I get older, take on this position of, of the chief of our clan, the Sangostostas, uh, Eagle Clan from home. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes with the art. It's your heritage, you know, it's like our history. Our, all kinds of stuff that goes with it and the responsibility that goes with all this stuff too. Like as an artist now I can't, I gotta take care, I can't just whip anything up and put it out there and, and, and it has to have integrity, right? Integrity for our ancestors, for myself, for our ancestors, for our people, you know, and, and that's a responsibility. I tell you the foundry I'm working with, are, they're quite amazing, the, the uh, Dick Pollock, from Pollock's Talix Foundry, uh, just north of New York City. They um, developed this bronze for today's weather and such, right? Because you get acid rain and things. So they come up with a nice formula. He's, he, he's, he's studied metals in university and stuff, so he's quite knowledgeable about that. And so they come up with a formula in bronze so that would withstand the, that stuff that comes from the air environment and uh, so wouldn't because a lot of the old bronzes are pitting up and kind of melting in a nasty way um, so and his wife at the time developed patinas that would work with the new material so you know for me it's, it's great because I, I like cutting edge stuff you know and people are doing things that are cutting edge and like I said bronze is new to us and that's cutting edge for me even though it's been around for thousands of years. And I thought about this for a while, about three watchmen, and how can I do a, a figure that comes from us, but also a sort of neutral, where it would, where it would work like here in Ottawa, because uh, a lot of times our art involves our inheritance, right? And things like that, where we come from. Right? So I wanted to come up with an idea that would be on a neutral plane that would work for everybody. The hats that are on the top of the three watchmen have four rings, and we call them skill in our language. And skill is a, is a ring, and, but you have to earn the right to wear a ring. And it's not everybody that can put them on their hat. Usually it's the chiefs, and uh, they earn the right by different reasons. So four, for us as Haida people, so I four rings on, the, on these watchmen, is, is good luck. And we use four in many different ways. Uh, four for our medicines and four directions and <clears throat> so it's quite important to us and and for the watchmen I'm just showing how important they are to us too as, as a people giving them more importance so why it's so nice there there's the, the big Notre Dame church uh, cathedral over here and you know it, it covers a lot of ground you know you have religion and then you have the U.S. Embassy over here, our great neighbors to the south, and then we have the National Art Gallery who, who 
involved in the arts. Uh, and we have the parliament over here and representation from all the provinces across the country, right? And so it's exciting. I mean, you need to keep an eye on all this stuff. And what I'm hoping folks will get from it is the idea, to, the question, you know, what are they looking for? What are they looking out for? And uh, maybe they'll do some research, you know, first off, look at the, the plaque that goes with it and see my name maybe, or the Haida Nation, uh, whatever else we're going to put with that. And I hope I capture their attention with the piece and also that, then they'll look up uh, some information. You know it is, we're in the day of, there it is, it all comes spilling out in front of you and, and maybe open the book up, you know, and start learning about this and that. And, and then if, if I can get them to open up the book, I've done my job.